Uh, uh, what do you want from me? Robocop! My number one guy. There seems to be a misunderstanding. the city's future. That leaves one question. Scrapyard or prison, creep.
evacuated. There's no one else inside. You need to save yourself. One more person here that needs saving. What? Murphy? We are not done yet. Another week passed since the OCP's magnificent giant has fallen. OCP's new CEO assured us that the destruction of its headquarters will not stand in the way of finishing Delta City. Japanese corporation Kanemitsu has already shown interest in OCP's most prominent project. We at Media Break welcome them with open arms. Delta City Yokoso! From the City of Wonders, we're back to Detroit. John Mills goes down in the history of the city as its shortest serving mayor, excluding premature death. He offered his resignation on his very first day of office. According to a reliable source, Mills expressed, and I quote, I did not sign up to run this dump. Are the new elections ahead of us, and has the city recovered after the previous ones? Now it's time to introduce a new segment, You the Detroiters where we share feel-good stories from our local communities. Disgraced Senator Farrell took hostages at the local theater and called for his reinstatement. However, a former vagrant and the theater's newest employee managed to defuse the situation. When asked why he decided to risk his life, Pickles, a European cinema connoisseur, said that it was simply disrespectful to interrupt the screening. Let's just hope Pickles does not influence the theater's movie selection. Next up, Sunblock 5000 model nearly torn to pieces by an ED-209 after not adhering to the 209's instructions. The dispute over a parking space could have turned deadly if it wasn't for Dr. Olivia Blanche, a seasoned psychologist who managed to keep a cool head during the 209's intervention. Dr. Blanche's new book, Coping with Loss, is said to be of value to both people and machines alike. A defamed reporter funded by terrorists after trying to illegally broadcast a hit piece aimed at OCP, Samantha Ortiz has been spotted collaborating with a terrorist group led by a woman known in the underworld as Bertha. OCP denied... We're sorry for the disturbance. Fortunately, this time it was a minor one. Let's move on. A new world record has been set in Detroit. A man called Funeral Bob attended his thousandth funeral this year. 
The record-breaking funeral belonged to Max Becker, a former OCP executive. As it turned out, Bob was its only attendee. The OCP delegation did not arrive due to a rescheduled business meeting. We hope the meeting went well. Moving on. The owner of a local restaurant, Onion Baji, in cahoots with a ring of zoo thieves. The restaurant was proved to source the ingredients through crime. The arrest was made by a rookie neighborhood cop, Ulysses Washington, and according to his statement, it wasn't the first animal he had saved. One question still remains unanswered. What happens to Robocop's human status? We've been informed that due to Mayor Mills's resignation, the matter will not be pursued by his office. Robocop's efforts have prompted a public conversation. I hope OCP doesn't take him off the street. Who will protect us then? Ah! It's Robocop! Robo! I love you! speaker. Pure pens of money. To many more years on the force, Robocop. It's been a busy time for Detroit, but the cloud that lowers over the city is lifting as police end their strike. We're ready to serve, said Officer Ann Lewis, who returned to duty despite her recent injury. What heroism. Detroit can sleep soundly tonight. The question is, for how long? That's all for today. This was Casey Wong. Until next time.